What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Team Fish Knuckles YouTube channel. Now, I know today is Monday, and we'll probably do a Manic Monday. Uh, but right now, this week's going to be kind of different because there's a new set actually coming out. And so this week's actually going to be a little bit different. Uh, we'll go back to PTCGO maybe later this week when the new set drops. Uh, we'll definitely go to new stuff next week. But this week, what I want to do is go over some important, like, I guess, news and stuff that's happening this week. Like, today, I want to go over, like, two very very important things that just happened um these past couple of days um these are actually both the same day which is uh last thursday which was the 19th actually it says post seven hours ago i know seven hours ago whatever it's now monday but we're still going to cover this i think it's very very important to talk about if you haven't heard about it i don't know where you've been but these are two very important things to happen in the Pokemon community. And then Wednesday, we'll definitely go over the new set. And I think that Thursday, the set does drop online, if I remember correctly. Because I think this coming up weekend, which is like the 20th, the 21st, and 22nd, whatever, there's actually pre-releases going on for this set. Um, I don't know what's in the set yet, so I can't really say too much. We'll, just, we'll discuss that more later on this week. Uh, but today, let's go over to big... Um, Let's go over the two big things right now. So the first one is going to be the Tapu Lele GX. Uh, it's reprint. That's great. Fantastic. If you are new to the game and don't have Tapu Lele's, this is what you want to hear. You want to hear that Tapu Lele's are getting reprinted. And now they're going to go from like a 40 to $50 to like 10 to 15 maybe $5. So we now have an exclusive image of the new Island Guardians GX Premium Collection, which feature an alternate art reprint of the Tapu Lele GX uh, released in American, Europe, and internationally this fall. So coming up this fall, we'll have this, this box. It has the Tapu Lele and the Tapu Fini. It has uh, some packs i think it says underneath what it is also has a tapu and lately gx you kind of see this is a different artwork i do think it's just going to have a reprint number i don't think this is going to be like a new promo number i don't think I, i'd be i'd be very shocked if it does have a new promo number but i'm excited they're re reprinting tapu lele gx it's gonna be great for new people coming to the game this season and want to get those tapu leles because if they didn't, Tapu Lele's would just go up even more in price once the season ends the season. And then we go to the new, new, uh, the new year. Uh, the European version of the box will come with a full Tapu Lele GX promo, a Jumbo version of the same card, a full Tone Promo GX, and five boost packs. The American version may switch out the Tapu Lele jump, Jumbo for a figure. It could, and also come with a coin. Um, but we don't know. It's too early to tell. Um, hold on a second. Alright, so <clears throat> both Tapu Lele and Tapu Fini will likely be featured in Japan's GX Ultra Shiny set in November. Um, <clears throat> let's see. It is currently unknown if the cards will be brand new promos or a, a alternate arts. As I was talking about earlier, if they are going to be like new alternate art cards, they have an A at the bottom and then they don't become, they're not technically like reprints. They're just like... I guess they're reprints, but they're not new cards. They're old cards, so they don't get... Like, once the rotation happens for Tapu Lele GX, they actually don't extend the rotation, uh, which I like that they do this. Uh, since Japan is likely releasing them in their November set, the legal legality of both cards will continue in Japan for many years to come. This means they'll likely be regular promos in America so as to reset their legality match Japan. Uh, so maybe... Okay, so maybe they are going to be... I don't know. Uh, that's the, that's the, big, no, the big question there. Since Lele is a necessary, necessary component to many decks, would be around for many years to come, and TCPI would not waste GX slots, releasing both Tapu, both Tapus and another set. This could be why TPCI decided to throw them into a box. Okay. Uh, the product image also reveals, reveals Lugia and Bless from... What? Is that a Pokemon? Blasphenola booster packs for a next English set, which is currently unnamed. It will be based on Japan's Sun and Moon. Oh, so can we see the card? Oh, so there's Luke, this Lugia right here, and I guess this Pokemon right here. No, this guy. No, that's Lycanroc. Uh, what's this guy? I don't know. What's this thing? Oh, that's, that's an evolution pack. That has a Leafeon. That's a Pokemon I don't know. And a Lycanroc. Okay, so there we go. Does it have packs or these are what packs these are? It doesn't. Uh, but so you get you get two of the new packs. I have no idea what they are. Whatever like Rock is, whatever Leafeon is, and then uh, an Evolutions pack. Evolution is kind of upsetting because there's really not that much great stuff in Evolutions. But still, the main thing is that I'm happy they're reprinted Tapu Lele, which is going to help out uh, so much in the future. Now, the kind of bigger news that everybody kind of really cares about and pretty much knows already is that the they, Pokemon has announced the ban list uh, coming up. So the announcement was July 19th. It goes effective 
August 17th. Uh, standard format, no changes. Nothing's been changed. It's fine. Standard's fine. Whatever. But in Expanded, oh my goodness. Getsis is now banned in the Expanded format. The card that shuts down, like, trainer cards. You play it for turn, first turn. Your opponent shuffles item cards back to the trainer cards. Item cards? Trainer cards? Back to the, the trainer item cards. Oh, it shows you right here. Um, visitor, okay, item cards. I knew what it was. It wasn't like, I knew it wasn't like sporter cards and in stadiums. I couldn't remember how they worded it, but it's trainer cards. Yep, yeah, or item cards, item cards. Then you draw that many. So the very good card turn one, you can like get this down, make them shuffle all the item cards back to the deck and pretty much shut them down if you get rid of the ultra balls. Hex Maniac is now banned as well. Oh my goodness, this is fantastic because now Hex is gone. Um, you can't do hex chain. You can't do like the Zorg hex chain combo stuff that everybody hated, which made the quad Zorg deck so good. Uh, so we see that they are kind of shutting down the Zorg deck, uh, which kind of makes it like where if you play just only GX decks, you could lose like a Hoopa maybe or something crazy like that. But then you have like the Mind Jack one, so maybe it's not too big of a deal. Uh, Puzzle of Time. That is a huge card, be a ban. Uh, it's going to be banned, like, Zork uses it, um, it's used in Sableye, it's used in Night March, this card is used in so many decks, the so puzzle time being banned is, is crazy, right? It's, oh my goodness, I can't believe that card's gone. Like, I guess it is kind of broken with Zark, like, you just trade, have a bunch of puzzle times in your hand, but now it's gone forever, alright? <clears throat> the next card is Wally. That means with no more turn one Trevenant. You can't get the turn one Trevenant. You can't idle your point out on anything, which is another, another, I mean, it's, this one's not too crazy, but now, like, it kind of leaves the format really open because now we pretty much shut down, like, Zark decks. We shut down Night March decks. We shut down, like, maybe Sableye. I know some people think that Sableye still might be alive. And then we kind of shut down Trevenant decks. I don't think it's going to be 100% shut down Trevenant decks. I think they'll still be fine if you want to play Trevenant. Don't worry, you're fine. Um, yeah, so I think you're fine if you, you just can't Wally turn one, which is not too bad. It's whatever. It's whatever. You're going to Ascension turn two or Evolve and Ascension. You're going to get a bunch of Trevenants out. You're going to be fine. It just makes sure your opponent gets like a turn of use. And there are item cards. Uh, this list of banned cards for standard experimental formats can be found here. Uh, rule changes. No new rule changes have been made. Next announcement date is going to be October 18th. Uh, details of changes. So nothing in standard format. But the overall goal of Expand is to have a fun environment where players can enjoy a wide variety of strategies. Getsis and Hexmaniac were identified as cards that stifle creativity and prevent several kinds of strategies from being viable. These cards have also had the potential to make a major negative impact on an opponent before they got a chance to take their first price turn, or before they take the first turn, which is like very true. Because if you hack some turn one, they can't use Shaman, they can't use Lele, they can't use any of those good abilities. And Getsis just could completely put your opponent's hand on the zero. Uh, so it's good to ban those, uh, and which can lead to a frustrating experience. Wally enables a combo with Trevenant that creates similar problems, so it falls into this category as well. With these cards in the environment, and then the environment, hopefully gameplay will become more enjoyable. So that's what they seem to be shooting for. It's like more of a better turn one experience, which I do enjoy a lot more. Uh, to get that turn one, it's very, very good. You want to get set up, get everything set up turn one, which is very... Yeah, it's what you want to do with Pokemon, you want to get set up. All right, so uh, Puzzle Time is a flexible card that can be used in a wide variety of strategies. Its usage rate is quite high in popular decks and enables a lot of powerful com combos. Removing this card from the environment will affect how many decks how many decks are constructed, which will hopefully make the expanded format feel fresh and different, which I do believe it's going to be that. Uh, but I was talking with my friend Justin, and Justin, like, he kind of thinks Buzzwell is just going to be really big, which it might be, but then, like, you got to think there's a bunch of Psychic Pokemon in in expanded maybe maybe buzzwell just comes the best deck and then like you just play like because it's still good right why is buzzwell not good i don't know so maybe buzzwell just comes even better like it was already a really good deck and expanded and now you don't have like uh you don't have to worry about trevenant really i mean i guess it, you kind of have to worry about trevenant still i don't know um but yeah that's that's pretty much the two big announcements lele is getting a reprint there's been some banned cards uh the list of banned cards is still here the other two cards is archaeops and forest of giant plants this did not change archaeops forest giant plants gutses hex maniac license trump card puzzle time and wally have been or are banned in uh coming up here in a little bit uh in this new season coming out but guys there we go uh which card are you most happy being banned i personally like that hex maniac 
is it banned the most? Because Hex Maniac is like, just, I'm fine with Gats. It's like, Gats is fine, whatever. Hex Maniac was just annoying, right? Uh, but now Hex is gone, so the game's like gonna be totally different. But guys, there we go. Hope you enjoyed this video. We'll see you back for Tuesday. I'm not sure what I'm really gonna talk about. Maybe I'll finally just decide why didn't I stop playing last season. Like, this helps out so much. This makes me so happy because now it changes the game drastically and uh, kind of goes in a way that I really want the game to go towards. But guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Have a great Monday, and we'll see you tomorrow. Alrighty, bye.